Uh, I think I got a one away penalty for inverted commas taunting a player, which I don't think I did. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I was doing my standard speech play, trying, yeah. trying to get it to fold. In this case, I was bluffing. Usually, I, I give the speech when I've got the actual coconuts and get them to call, and they usually pay me off. This time, I had to give her the other speech to get her to fold and convince her I've got the best hand. So I've got to, have to do everything in my power to uh, make this play work and uh, hopefully get it to fold. Um, basically, it cut a long story short in terms of the actual hand. I flopped the gut shot. She bet. I called. I turned a double gutter. Check. She made another small bet. I called. The river bricked out, but there's now over 600, 700,000 in the pot. She's only got about 600k behind. Asked her how much she had. I set her all in for her tournament life. And then she had a decision. This is when I started talking to her and saying, if you've got aces, I want you to call. I have you beat. She, she actually engaged me uh, in the conversation with me, saying, I think I've got you beat here. So she started the conversation with me. And that's when I opened up, invited me into the conversation to say, if you've got aces, I want you to call. Then, then the uh, dealer said, you can't discuss the contents of your hand. I said, I wasn't discussing my hand. I was yeah. discussing hers. But you can't discuss any hands at all. You can't talk about anything that will influence the action. Mm -hmm. I said, well, I want you to call anyway, whatever you have. I said, sir, you can't say that. I said, well, we weren't discussing the hand. I said, I want you to call. That's influencing action. I said, well, I've gone all in. There's no more action. Decisions on her. I haven't got any more chips behind. Either she's calling or she's folding. So they might so, as well say you can't talk at all. Yeah, so the ruling was the TD come over, the camera crew come over, and they, they basically say, one more word out of you, you're gonna, have a, you're gonna have a penalty. But prior to that, I did say to her, it's a friendly table, I'll keep it friendly. If you fold and show, I will show, but I have you beat, I want you to call. Sir, you can't say that. One more word out of you is a penalty, right? Mm -hmm. So I had to now zip and say nothing. And she's looking at me, and she's speaking out loud now, I think I've got you beat, but I'm not allowed to say a word. Mm -hmm. So I have to stay there, look at her, she's eyeballing me. Then I make the hand gesture without saying anything physically because I get a penalty obviously so I say <laughs> implying if you show I'll show keep it friendly without saying a word then Jack Eiffel came over and said right I want to have a word with you after this hand I said well I said nothing he told me I can't say a word so I didn't say a word I just implied like that you show I'll show without saying a single word so which is win the rules so now I wasn't so on the penalty then. Did she fall? She sank. Some other guy called a clock. Then she got angry with another guy. Oh, you called a clock at me, man? You serious? Yeah, yeah. World Series. Woo! Marvellous. Yes, called a clock. Came down to about 30 seconds. She just keeps eyeballing me. I said, kept doing that. Sir, stop that right now. I'm going to have a word with the other hand. Lady, you've got 10 seconds. Yeah, 10 seconds, nine. Counted down to one. She open folded pocket queens. Oh, right? No. I had nine six offsuit. I said, you want to see it? You really want to see it for the camera? Okay, there you go. Turn a double gun. Nine higher like a boss. Heart of a lion. There you go. Pow. And she wasn't happy, obviously, because I bluffed her <laughs> in the park, but everyone else, I think, enjoyed the moment. Jack Eiffel pulled me aside and said, sir, I'm going to have to give you a one word penalty. If I taunt him, I said, I had to try and explain myself, saying it wasn't exactly taunting. It's the whole point of speech play. I, yeah. You know, I was effectively saying, well, if you've got one pair, I want you to call. I've got you beat, effectively, without disclosing contents of my own hand. I was just trying to imply that I had a beat and I was showing I'll keep it friendly. That's all I was trying to convey. There's no malice involved, no malicious intent or anything needling or any kind of taunting in that regard. But they took it that way and apparently it wasn't just this one-off decision. I think the whole uh, t tournament director and the staff have been watching me over the last 24 hours apparently. And it's come up to this point, you've been doing it all day yesterday, and it's come to this one point that we, we now have to give you that one over penalty for, for taunting because we have to look after the integrity of the game, etc. When I said, I said to Jack, I said, I appreciate that, I understand the whole integrity of the game game and the etiquette and everything and sportsmanlike behavior on the on the poker table but you've got to appreciate m my point of view in terms of how I play my game yeah. and when your head's up in the pot you can physically talk to your opponent that's the yeah, whole point I of live poker you're not going to sit there for 12 hours with your headphones on and say nothing you might as well sit at home in your underpants and click on the mouse button and play online it is a shame I mean you heard a lot of the Jamie Gold and the winning it and the speech play Daniel Negreanu talks yeah. a lot I've been doing it for years last 10-12 years myself I don't even do it for the camera crew no, it's nothing for show I do it on uh, any, any table outer table feature table whatever I'm doing it every hand against any player at any time I might be famous for one clip against Vanessa Self, which got one million views on YouTube of tilting her in, in EBT London, but I wasn't trying to needle her specifically, just doing my standard speech yeah. play, but it, uh, she let it get under, under her skin. What made for good TV, why it got so many views, because it's Vanessa Self, and because it's this local loudmouth who qualified for 500, 500 pounds rather than 5k into the EBT London, was giving it all the spiel and bluffing her and showing the bluff and having a laugh with her on the table. She let it get under her skin, and if that's her prerogative, then, then that's up to her. And so, so many other players, uh, I like that as well. They seem to go on tilt, they don't approve it. I might not be everyone's cup of tea. I don't know if you have mama in this country, but back when we got mama, either you love it or you hate it. So at the beginning, they all hate it, but I think they warm to me more and they, they, they enjoy the banter of this speech. It's great for TV. I think people find it difficult to play uh, pots with me, uh, especially post flop, because I'm doing, always doing speech play. I'm representing so many more hands. I'm talking about hands, what they could have, what they could represent. And this is the whole psychological aspect of the game. This is what I love about the game. Uh, more than anything, not the gamble, all in a call, let's win a flip, ace king, pocket jacks, and let's just gamble. I like more the whole strategic aspect of the game, the psychological aspect, and getting into your opponent's mind, trying to convince them that you've got the best hand when you don't, and convince them that you're bluffing when you've got the nuts, and getting paid. And this is what makes for great TV, and then showing it, and then 
it, it's just fantastic for the table. I think it, it's great to watch, it's great to play, it's yeah. great to play that way. And they say how you play poker depends on your personality. So I'm a sociable, active, outgoing kind of guy. Yeah, I'm not going to just sit there and say nothing for like 12 hours straight. So I'm going to like convey that kind of like personality on the table and I'm going to play the poker how, how I do basically. So it's not going to be everyone's cup of tea, but there you go. A lot of entertainment for you guys, but I'm not here to entertain. I'm here to like win like big money, go deep in the tournament. I mean, I know it sounds like a cliche, but it's a bit of a dream uh, to get this far. It'd be a dream to make the final table of the World Series Poker main event. Uh, but I came here in it to win it, stumped up the money, $10,000, even though the pound dollar rate is really bad at the moment. So it cost me an extra thousand pounds literally this year uh, to buy in. But I thought I'm coming here to win. I come with a positive attitude. If I'm going to buy in, if I'm going to win big and win big in dollars, my dollars are going to be worth a lot more in pounds when I go back to London. So I've made it to day five, locked up maybe 44, 49,000 now. Um, but home to go, a long way, I'm not even looking at laddering or whatever. I'm playing to win, playing to make the final table. I think I'm in good shape at the moment, around 3.54 million awesome. in chips at the moment. Just playing my game, doing my speeches, people letting get it under their skin and they're folding when they've got the best hand and calling me off when I've got the nuts. It's all working out, it's all going to plan. Awesome, man. Well, good luck. Um, we hope to see you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you got to get back there. Onwards and upwards.